Hi there, my name's Bruce Rain from Brankus Creations, and in this video we'll be going through the steps to test and adjust the voltage in a compact Mac. This covers the original 128K Macintosh, the 512K, the Mac Plus, the Classic, and the Classic 2. And while you can use these steps to test the voltage from an SE and SE30, you won't be able to adjust it, as they use a different sort of power supply. And if you're experiencing voltage issues in an SE or an SE30, it's most probably due to some sort of component failure, such as old capacitors on the logic board, the analog board, or in the power supply. To test the voltage, you'll need a digital multimeter. If you don't have one, or if you're looking to buy a new one, may I recommend the Kaiweats KM601 Smart Multimeter. It has lots of features and high accuracy for a budget price. There are links in the description for where you can buy one of these, and the link up in the corner will take you to my product review. If you want to make voltage adjustments, you'll need a long T15 Torx driver for opening the Mac case, and a small flathead screwdriver for adjusting the voltage on the 128K, 512K or plus, or a small Phillips head screwdriver with a long shaft for the Classic or Classic 2. You'll also want a paper clip and some wire with crock clips at each end for holding the probes in place while you make your adjustments. There are dangerous voltages inside the case, so please be careful, and obviously I accept no responsibility for any damage done to yourself or your Mac. The great thing about the Compact Max is you can easily test the voltage without even opening the case. This is done with the external floppy port, which is a 19-pin female D-sub connector, like this. To test the voltage, put your multimeter into DC voltage mode. Switch your Mac on. Then touch the negative multimeter probe to the connector shielding, and touch the positive multimeter probe to pin 6 for plus 5 volts and pin 8 for plus 12 volts. Plus 5 volts should read somewhere between 4.85 volts to 5.15 volts, and 12 volts should read somewhere between 11.9 volts to 12.8 volts. So if your readings are outside of this, you may need to make an adjustment. There are a couple of things you should be aware of. Firstly, the adjustment will change both the 5V and 12V. So if one of these is reading correctly and the other one is out, your problems can't be fixed with a simple adjustment. This is more likely to be some sort of component failure, most likely some capacitors that have reached the end of their lives. Another thing is that if your voltage readings are way off, you won't be able to fix them with an adjustment. Once again, this will be some form of component failure or cracked solder joints. If you're seeing the voltage fluctuating, this could be caused by a short to ground somewhere. The power supply tries to come on, detects the short, then shuts itself off. Then it keeps doing this over and over. But if your only problem is the voltage is just a little bit out, you can make an adjustment. We'll start with the 128K, 512K and plus. I'm using a 512K, but the steps are the same for the 128K and plus. Switch the computer off, lay it face down, undo the 5K screws, then remove the back cover. Place the computer with the screen facing away from you. At this point, you may want to discharge the CRT, but keep in mind that we need to make these adjustments while the computer is on. So either way, you're going to need to exercise extreme caution when working with the back cover off the computer. Now you need your trusty paper clip. Bend it open like this and insert it into pin six. Now attach one end of your wire to the paper clip and the other end to the positive probe of your multimeter. I actually have these little crock clip adapters that slide right over the probes. Attach the negative probe to ground. Now swivel the computer around until the analog board is in front of you. The voltage adjustment is labelled like this, and in the hole is a little variable resistor that can be turned using a small flathead screwdriver. Alternatively, you may want to use a plastic TV adjustment tool like this, to minimise risk of damage by touching the wrong thing by accident. 
Now we can switch the computer on. But before you do, inspect everything carefully to make sure your paperclip isn't touching something it shouldn't and your hands are well away from any high voltage. For this stage, you don't need to load a system, the computer just needs to be on. If your clips are attached correctly, you should be reading the 5 volt output of the Mac. To decrease the voltage, turn the adjustment clockwise. Counterclockwise to increase it. Do it gradually and monitor the output as you go. Try and get as close to 5 volt as you can, but it doesn't need to be exact. If the adjustment has turned as far as it will go and the voltage is still incorrect, you have other issues you will need to deal with first, such as recapping the analog board. Once you're happy with the voltage, turn the computer off, unplug it, remove the probes and then put the computer back together again. The Mac Classic and Classic 2 also have a voltage adjustment, but it's a lot harder to access. I actually contemplated whether I would even include the Classic in this video, as I consider the adjustment very risky. I would suggest that you may well want to find a technician to do this one, given the risks involved. However, if you're crazy enough to try this yourself, this is how it's done. Switch the computer off, lay it face down, undo the four case screws, and remove the back cover. Place the computer with the screen facing away from you. Follow the same steps as the older Compact Mac models with the paper clip, the croc clips, and your multimeter. Now turn the computer so that the analog board is away from you, so that the open part of the computer is in front of you. Make sure you do not wear a grounding strap and remove your watch or any metal jewelry from your hands. You'll need a very long shafted PH1 screwdriver. I actually use this little screwdriver bit placed into this long 3D printed handle. The adjustment is right here and is labeled PP1. It's only accessible from this side of the analog board, not the outside. While the computer is off, carefully get your screwdriver into position and hold it still. Once again, be very careful not to touch anything inside the Mac. Lots of nasty zappy dangers in there. Now turn on the computer. Once again, you don't need to load a system, the computer just needs to be on. Check the voltage output on the multimeter. Turn the adjustment clockwise to increase voltage output Turn it counterclockwise to decrease. Once again, do it gradually and monitor the output as you go. Once you're as close to 5 volt as you can get, switch the computer off, unplug it, remove the probes and then put the computer back together again. And that's it. I do hope this video was useful to you. Please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.